Hi everyone, Sonia here, and you're watching Pouring with Sonia. And I have a 12 by 24, so a foot by two feet. And I just thought I would play around with some of the new pigment colors I got. I have Ore and Nebula that I'm gonna try today. Um, I accidentally mixed them up using the Super Heavy Gel Gloss from Liquitex and they got really really thick I mean I thought I was using the regular heavy gel gloss not the super heavy and so I put this huge amount in and um, then I had to thin them out so it became a bit of a mixing ordeal <laughs> but the um, nebula looks like this really cool kind of blue black it's pretty cool so that could be a fun contrasty color. So I have those two. Then I have just um, a transparent Indian yellow, which is a Joe Sonia. Oh no, I mixed. So I dripped some. I'm saying, oh no, because I mixed up this kind of, it's blue and green mixed together. And I dripped some of my pillow paint into it. I try to usually be so careful. I don't know how I did that, but I just want to get that out of there and remix here. Okay, so I have this, and they're all pretty thick. <laughs> They've been sitting for a while, like, I don't know, that one might still be a little thick. Um, the consistency I love is, it's nice and, like, look at that. It's a stretchy, thin, elasticy kind of stream that just keeps flowing off my stick but then it creates a mound before it goes down. So that is like my perfect consistency. It's stretchy, stringy, but a little bit thick. Um, so for this one, it feels maybe a little thick because see how it was globbing off? It got a little thick upon standing here. And then I have the tiniest bit of this teal green left from yesterday. Not much, but I'm going to just use it up because I think it's a gorgeous color. So I think what I'm going to do is three blooms. I think I'm going to do like a gold and yellow. Maybe and um, a gold, yellow. It's probably not enough of a difference, this peach. Maybe I'll do like sockeye there. Sorry, I thought I had this all planned out in my head, but I think I'll use some sockeye there. It's a nice, so a couple pigments and a color. I definitely want the color underneath the cell activator. I'll probably do a black cell activator on those. And then in the middle, I was thinking like this nebula with some of this teal and this green and a white. We'll see. I'm not sure what's going to happen or if I'll even change my mind as I go along, but let's see what we get. I'm all out of white pillow, so I'm going to use a gray. <laughs> white would probably be best, but, and of course, I can't open this one. I thought I was all organized, and I'm not organized at all. I'm using my little paint can opener to kind of pry under the lid here of my Sherwin-Williams color to go. Okay, I did mix it. It is mixed with my GAC 800. And I'm just going to pour out a pretty decent amount here. We'll start with that, and I may end up I probably will use up the rest of it just to get to the corners. This is a color called Westchester Gray. It was a um, mist tint that I got for free, actually, from Sherwin-Williams. All right, so let me think about the color I want on the bottom, maybe, then, is this pretty little sockeye. Or, yeah. Uh, no, because then I'm going to have yellow on the top. So let's do the gold on the bottom. here and here. 
This is called Ore. So it's not quite as deep of a gold, it's a little bit brighter gold. Then I'm gonna do the Sockeye. So I feel like all these colors go kind of nice with the gray. And it's kind of a taupey gray. And then I'm gonna do the yellow on top of that. Nice bright um, underneath the black. And I'm gonna blow these blooms out first and then I'm gonna pour another puddle on top and blow it out. I don't know how that's gonna work, but I feel like it'll be kind of a little mishmash, which is okay by me. And today I thought I would try to use my blow dryer. I haven't used that in a long time. I've been using my little um, Revlon tool, which blows a lot slower. This is some black cell activator I mixed up today, and then I have some that I mixed up that's a little older, so we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna start on low, and then if I need to go higher, I'll go higher. I think I'm gonna need to go higher. It's so fast! I'm not used to fast blowing at all. No! <laughs> Okay, well, that didn't work out very well at all. Too fast for my liking, but let me see if I can't. At least get some of that spread out. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a hot mess. As she yells, no! Well, that's okay. I kind of want something kind of weird looking, like they're interrupting one another anyway, so. It's not a very good bloom, though, that's for sure. <sighs> Let's try again. I'm gonna try with this with the low blow. The greatest that's definitely horrible <laughs> but I honestly feel like with those streaky colors I don't mind the streaky colors I wish I had some more cell activator there so I might put down a little more like and just try again here oh I messed up the order didn't I I sure did That's okay. That is okay. Same colors, different order. You do get a lot different results when you do that. The order that you lay paints down really does matter. All right, let's try this again on the low. <laughs> That was out of control.
I don't mind that, so I think I'm just gonna push it on this way. Big fat hot mess here. Meh. Let's just see. All right, now for the middle. <clears throat> Let's try something a little fun here. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna try right here. Let me go kind of big, because I kind of want them to, I want it to blow on top of some of that. Does that make sense? And I don't have much of this kind of tealy green, so I'm gonna put it on top. This blue seems a little thick, and, and yet I did not thin it out. That was probably pretty dumb. That was probably a mistake. <gasps> what a moron. <clears throat> I just dripped blue. There. Never go over your painting. Always come off. Now I have to think about that. What am I going to do about that? Okay. Let's get this little bit of tealy green here. And I'm just going to scrape it all out. Not much of it left, but I really did like the color, so. Now, let me grab this little skewer thingy here and see if I can't. Ah, what a dummy. All right, that's all I'm gonna do there. Lift some of that main glob out. All right, I've got some white cell activator here that I just mixed up. Let's pour that down. Kind of a lot. And those colors are really thick. I don't know if this on low is gonna work. Let's try it though. I'm going to start off going this way and this way. It's so thick. So I think I'm just going to have to really kind of Not very pretty blooms. But I'm gonna just wait for this to reabsorb. I don't wanna blow too much more on that because I'm getting a lot of gray underneath that and I don't want too much gray. And then we'll just see what happens. This was just uh, for kicks and giggles. I really kinda like those colors together. I like the gold with the salmon and then the bright yellow. And you can see, um, this was, uh, I like this, those colors the best. This was just a hot mess that I tried to save. <laughs> so, all right, let me get this stuff out of the way. How funny. This was just, ugh. all right, <laughs> exhausting. Exhausting the most fun way, though. Okay, and I just want to, I know I'm going to be tipping 
and I don't want to tip into my cups of paint, so I'm just moving them out of the way. All right, I think I am going to need a little more. Let's just bring some of this over on these corners, especially. That does it for that cord. And I'm just going to kind of wet it so that as I start tipping, it doesn't get up to this um, dry canvas and just kind of start completely rolling over on itself. It's going to roll over anyways a little bit, you know. But I don't want it to just hit that dry canvas and seize. And I just like using my hands for this. Not, I always like to wear gloves because I have, I get my nails done. <laughs> I'm trying not to ruin my manicure right off the bat. It doesn't matter though because I always end up ruining it. See, this has already kind of reached the dry canvas and already created like this lip where it's rolling over. I'm going to kind of smudge it right up to it. Okay, because you know, I will have my hands stay perfectly clean and then I will just go to move something and I will somehow end up with it all over, all over my nails, under my nails. I do try, but all right, now I'm going to kind of get down low and see if it looks level. This actually is still tilted down a little bit and I... It's been a while, so I'm not even sure if it's going to, see, that's not moving, that middle. Um, I don't know that a pillow is going to reabsorb under that. So what I'm going to try and do is just gently rock it back and forth and see if I can't get the middle of the blue one to move a little bit. Start moving, baby. I'm just trying to kind of coax it. I got the weight of the paint where I need it to get pushed along. Okay. All right. This one's my favorite one, and I think I'm going to want to have it stretch out. So let's kind of... Good grief. Let's kind of come down here. Oh, that ore is going to be pretty, I think. And get it over the edge. And come back and I'm not really even trying to keep bloom shapes so much Woo. okay let me look at this I hmm, let me look at this I mm. <laughs> I'm undecided obviously um, I'm gonna come down here Kind of go for the corner. And then come here and go for, oops, let's get it to where it kind of goes to the corner, the way I want it. Now my blue one I want to stretch out a little bit. So I think what I'm going to do is take this a little bit off edge and then I love this top one and I like how I've kind of got it covering a corner so I'm gonna kind of stretch that back out because I think that's interesting still got kind of a lot of paint on here though um, but I don't I don't want to lose too much there I have got kind of a little area there I think I can tip off. Okay, I'm looking at this and I really love that this is like a triangle shape 
up here. I don't want to put my hand over it. Um, and I really kind of like how this really weird one on the bottom that blew out um, created these little streaky colors. The only thing I don't like is the blue in the middle. I would like this to come up a little bit, but I don't, I'm not sure if I can get it up. I'm going to come down here a little bit. I don't want to ruin the areas I do like. Ah, it's not, it's not going to. So I'm going to come straight back here. And I think I'm going to, I'm going to leave it at that. I kind of like I didn't want to have, I wanted the blue to interrupt the other two. I just didn't want these three blooms. I wanted something unique and I have something unique and I kind of like it, <laughs> but I'm a little weird. So, um, the only thing I kind of smushed up that, I want to stretch it out a little, but now I'm getting it really smushed, like a really weird, I don't think I want. Okay. Uh, I was trying to fix here. I got to take my gloves off because I think I'm done. <laughs> Question mark. Okay, let me wipe my hands real quick. So, I like this triangle shape here, how it fills a corner. And it's the only one that does that. I like that because it's kind of framing the overall piece that I see with this at the top and this at the bottom. Um, and as I was trying to stretch out some of these, these got a little wonky right here it was going too far down. So then I wanted to pull it back. I ended up getting that a little wonky with the stretching and stretching, but I'm okay with it. It's very um, organic looking. Um, not really super happy with the blue, but I think it was, I like the idea of having a completely different color palette in the middle with a different cell activator that just kind of goes with the colors, but it isn't matchy matchy. Would this three blooms of the same colors have been beautiful? Yeah, because I like these colors together. But um, I kind of like breaking it up. So let me bring you down. And um, the colors are really pretty together. Together, I know you can't see the shimmer from the or but there's a really nice little gold shimmer underneath everything. So I like that I've kind of got some of the streaks of that yellow there too for a really bright pop because the gold is this um, soft gold. Um, and then that yellow's real bright. And I like that I added the sockeye. I was just going to do yellow and gold, but that sockeye, I think that kind of salmon-y pink is great. So there's the top corner. Okay, oh, let me get that, see? And I kind of liked that triangle. When I started tilting and I saw that happening, I was like, that's what I want. Um, I like these little rivers of nothingness where, um, you know, there's not lacing, there's not a lot going on because I feel like it just kind of breaks up and gives your eye some rest. I'm not super happy with the blue, but I'm not, terribly unhappy with it either <laughs> so um i didn't really want three flowers on here um so i like i accomplished that this was the really bizarre horrible double bloom oh my goodness i blew too fast with my blow dryer <laughs> i'm not used to it um but i i think it ended up kind of cool i'm not sure why i have this kind of harsh line of yellow there but I'm gonna leave it paint keeps expanding and changing as it's drying and we'll see if it just shifts a little and then the blue in the middle um, kind of looks like a ethereal cloudy type area there right there and 
I would normally hate that, but I kind of like it in this piece. So, I know it's not your typical bloom. It's not your typical anything, but I kind of dig it. I like the colors together. I like the actual composition of it. Now, the more I look at it, that I got three distinct areas. Um, I like the corner up there. I like the different color in between. So, I don't know. It's just up my alley. It's probably not up yours. But I kind of dig it, and I would love to know what you think about it. Um, give me a thumbs up if you learned anything from this or you enjoyed watching it at all. <laughs> and uh, um, I hope to see you again soon. And until then, have fun painting, everyone. Bye!